What is going on everyone? So I wanted to explain why I have not uploaded any vlogs recently. Let me show you. So right now we are actually in Jamaica right now. So we are on vacation and we're going to be here. I don't know if you can hear me. So we're on vacation right now in Jamaica and we're going to be here until Wednesday. So that's why I've not uploaded a vlog recently because we have been traveling and on vacation. So just spending time here getting fat before having to lean down for photo shoots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so guys, I uh, just want to get on here at the beginning of this vlog and tell y'all why I'm a little bit behind. But I hope you like the rest of the video, guys, and thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Good morning, everyone. So I got up this morning, did 40 minutes of fasted cardio. I was going to do HIT, but decided to do LIST, which is low intensity because my legs are so sore. I went to New Fit Monday, and I can barely walk today. So I did cardio just to kind of loosen up my legs a little bit. So let me show you uh, the supplements that I like to take in the morning before cardio. I do it on an empty stomach, but I do have supplements beforehand. So uh, right now, since I'm so close to doing the photo shoots and vacation, which we're leaving on vacation next week, which is exciting, but I'm not ready for it because it feels like, I don't really feel like I need a vacation right now because we've been doing so much. We've been traveling to Memphis and then we had family come down the very next week. Uh, so. I'm hoping that we kind of get in the swing of things before we have to go on vacation next week. So uh, that being said, I am actually taking a fat burner right now. Normally I don't take it this far out, but since I'm going on vacation next week, I'm taking it. So uh, this I like to take uh, right before I go do cardio. It has a lot of caffeine in it, so it gets me up in the morning. I also right now take Clear Muscle. I love this supplement. It is HM. HMB, it will help protect the muscle so that you're not eating muscle uh, you know, while you're leaning down because right now I'm in a calorie deficit so it helps protect that muscle. Uh, and then I also like to take the Nitro Tech, the Amino. Uh, this actually goes in your coffee so it's pretty awesome. It's like a creamer but it has BCAs in there. I also like to take glutamine and that will help recovery and help protect the muscle as well. So after uh, the cardio session, I'm back here about to eat breakfast and the things I like to take right before having breakfast, maybe around 30 minutes to 40 minutes before having breakfast because I'm gonna go take a shower first. Whew. I am having some greens. Uh, so this is just a greens product. I uh, have it in my scary cup, Shelby said. This is a Grizzlies cup. It's a big old face. Uh, I have greens in there, I am adding a scoop, and then I'm having half a lemon to this drink. It kind of looks pretty nasty. It smells pretty bad too because I also added some of this apple cider vinegar. So it has antioxidants in there and it helps with digestion. So that is why I take that. And let me go over my breakfast really quick. So what I'm having today, it's going to be a low carb day. So I'm having higher fats and pretty much no carbs for breakfast. So I'm having 80-20 ground beef. Uh, it's slowly cooking in here. I haven't started it yet. And then I'm also going to add two eggs to that. So it's going to be roughly around 35 grams of protein and 35 grams of fat. And that is the supplements and breakfast that I'm having. So now it is around 1 o'clock. I've been sitting around editing some video. I wanted to catch y'all up to date from my last vlog. Uh, we brought back my brothers and sisters on Monday. They flew back to Memphis. So here's a clip from that. <laughs> the weekend has come and gone so quickly. Now we're taking them back to the airport. It's so sad. We got we fit in a lot of stuff, but now it is time to say goodbye to them. Until next time. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave y'all here. <laughs> I took a little tumble down the cliff. <laughs> so sad. No. Bye, guys. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for having yep. us. Thanks for paying for it. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, I will. I'll see you later. See you. Thanks. A lot of fun. Too bad we didn't get to film a video game next time. <laughs> yes, we had a lot of fun. It was very sad taking them back because we're not sure when we're gonna see them next But it was a lot of fun while they were here and we also pranked my brother. So here's a clip from that <laughs> Take 
I wish I would have got a better view to see his face. I wish I had the camera over the curtain a little bit, but oh well. So now we just found out maybe around two hours ago, the place that we went and looked at, the apartment complex, uh, we just found out that Gainer is a restricted breed, so they do not allow boxers into that apartment complex. So we picked the apartment, had all the paperwork pretty much done, and then they emailed us, said, that the boxers are a restricted breed. So now we're back to square one. We have no idea where we're gonna live, but we will figure it out eventually. Oh, and as you can see, I'm in a robe and my face is all spotty. I know I look horrible because I just put on a spray tan maybe around two hours ago. So uh, you have to leave that stuff on for around four hours. So in like two more hours, I'm gonna take all this off and I'll look normal. So while my family was visiting, they uh, went to the store and we picked up some milk for them so they could have cereal and stuff. They did not drink any of this. So Mr. Gaynor, we found out, loves milk. So he has been drinking this like pretty much this whole gallon. They didn't drink any of it. So we've been giving him a little bit each day and he absolutely loves this stuff. We looked it up and it's safe for doggies. Gaynor, you want some milk? You want some milk? You want some milk? No, no, sit. Sit, sit, good boy. Sit, stay. There's you some milk. Gainer is part cat. And the reason why we're letting Gainer drink the milk is because we don't drink cow milk, we drink almond milk. Let me show you something that is cool. So you know I've been wanting a drone for quite some time, we just have not bought one. Anyways, her mom, the man she is talking to, got a drone for Christmas and has not touched it since Christmas. So uh, she was like, hey, uh, do you want it? Because he's never gonna fly it. He's all the time traveling. He's all the time busy. So he's not ever gonna fly this thing. So she brought the drone to us yesterday. So we're gonna bring this on vacation stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it is a Phantom 3 standard. So it's not like the 4K and all that stuff, but it should be very good video quality and stuff for what I need right now. So that is pretty awesome free gift, so I have never flown this thing. It was brand new, never been opened, so I'm trying to play with it a little bit. I charged the battery, and now we're gonna go take it on a test flight. Not the best day to take this thing on a first flight without knowing what you're doing, really, because it is super windy today, but oh well. All right, so let's give this thing a go. I'm gonna set it somewhere that's not underneath some trees. That would be bad. Great way to start off. Right in the parking lot. So far so good, haven't crashed it. This thing is kind of sketchy to land because my brother has like a GPS system and has sensors so it won't let it crash to the ground. This thing does not have any of that. So you have to control it yourself 100%. Has no sensors on it so you can hit everything. Back in from flying the drone, did not crash it. It was scary because I honestly thought for a split second that it was gonna hit a tree, but it did not. So the drone is safe. Now it is time to rinse off and get all this nasty stuff off me. Boom! So, <laughs> I scared the mess out of Gainer just then. Bye, Gainer. So, all rinsed off. I don't think I look very spotty. I should be a little bit darker. But, oh my gosh, guys, I got something to tell you. Muscle Tech is so lit. Like, oh my word, we have so much going on with them. It is ridiculous. Uh, so, right now, we have just emailed and confirmed already two shoots. Now, they want me to do three shoots. So at first, I was gonna go to Toronto. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be telling y'all this, but gonna go be going to Toronto to do a photo shoot for Muscle Tech for different magazines, and then from Toronto to New York, and then after that, gonna be doing something with Bodybuild.com, so I have to fly to Boise, Idaho, and we're trying to pick a date for uh, going to Bodybuild.com to do different stuff for Muscle Tech, so being all in their different articles and videos and stuff. So really looking forward to that. 
This is insane, guys. This is something I've been working for since I got started in the industry. I've always wanted to be in, you know, big national magazines, and this is what these photo shoots are for. They're going to be national magazines, and this is insane. Like, I'm so excited, but after vacation next week, so we fly out next week, next Friday, and we get back on the 10th, and that gives me just over four weeks to get ready for that photo shoot. So I have to kill myself uh, up until next week going to vacation and then four weeks after vacation, I have to be photo shoot ready. This is gonna be insane, but I'm gonna do it. Of course, it is my job, so I'm gonna be in the best shape possible. So all that being said, just wanna get on here and say thank you all. Could not do this without you. All the people that watch these videos, likes the videos, gets on my Facebook, follows me over there on Instagram. All of y'all make this possible, so thank you. About to head to the gym, so I showed you this morning my supplements that I take uh, pre-cardio and at breakfast time, so I'm gonna show you what I have pre-workout. So what I'm taking is the Vapor X5. This is the watermelon flavor. It's probably one of my favorite flavors. So uh, this has right at, I think, 190 grams of caffeine per scoop, so I'm gonna take like I don't know, scoop and a quarter or something. So just over like 200 uh, milligrams of caffeine. Uh, right now when you're, uh, you know, low calories and stuff, you don't feel great. So I live off of caffeine. So a lot of people are gonna be like, you have coffee in the morning plus your pre-workout? Yes, I do. Uh, BCAs, this is what I take throughout my workout. So I sip on that. I will finish up the pre-workout uh, and then I will fill it up with water from my jug and then fill uh, that thing completely up, then put the BC is in, in there, and then sip on that throughout the workout. Uh, I've been having protein bars before my workout, so pre-workout, have a protein bar. I said today that I'm going very low carb, so this is the only carb source that I am having today. This has right at 20 grams of carbs, and besides like vegetable carbs and what I get through peanut butter and stuff, that's the only carbs I'm having today. Other supplements that I take, I have uh, pills right here. Uh, the two clear ones right here are the clear muscle. You take the clear muscle, the HMB, three times a day. Uh, so that helps protect the muscle like I went over this morning. And the other tablets, the red ones, are the nitric oxide from Muscle Tech. So I take four tablets of those pre-workout, and that will help get the blood flow and help with the pump. What is going on everyone? It has been some time since I got a video up. Sorry about that, but we are currently in on vacation in Jamaica, so that's why I haven't been able to get up a video. Uh, this workout I'm going to go over. I did not record every single exercise. Now I'm going to write down the whole uh, workout in the description box, so that will be there if you want to give the workout a try. Just go down there and copy and paste it to like your phone or something and take a screenshot of it and then try out this workout. So this workout was not something I normally do. Uh, this was an arm day and uh, I lifted as heavy as possible and normally I don't lift this heavy on arm day but uh, it's good to change things up every once in a while so that's what I did here. So as you can see I started off with a bicep movement. I went uh, straight bar and I was going for anywhere from 6 to uh, 10 reps, uh, 5 sets and then on the last two sets I did a double drop set and that's what you're watching right now. So I did anywhere from eight or 6 to 10 reps and then uh, would drop the weight uh, by about like, I don't know, I think 10 pounds on each side, so 20 pounds total, and then went at it again for as many reps as I could do, and then dropped it once more. And then after that, moved on to tricep. So this workout, I went bicep, tricep. Uh, sometimes I will uh, uh, like do all biceps and do the whole workout with biceps and then move on to triceps. Uh, but this time I was uh, not supersetting, but just doing a bicep and then moved on to tricep. Uh, so the tricep movement was a heavy one as well. So I went with an easy bar skull crusher and I did uh, five sets of these. Uh, now I did three sets normal for around eight to ten reps. And in the last two sets I did that triple drop set, the same thing I did with the barbell curls. And so I would go for the you know eight to ten reps and then drop the weight uh, and then go at it again. And I did that uh, for those two sets. This is just going to be another angle of the tricep uh, skull crushers. Uh, so 
During this workout, uh, like I said, I'm not supersetting. Uh, I'm resting in between these uh, sets for around two minutes because I'm lifting heavy. And so normally when I work out, I will uh, rest about only a minute to 40 seconds in between sets. But during this workout, since I'm lifting you know, heavier weight, I take a little bit more rest so that I can um, – you know, have all that strength uh, because a lot of times if you don't give yourself enough time to recover, uh, it's, you know, your muscles aren't recovering enough and that you won't be able to lift the same amount of weight. So that's what I was trying to do throughout this workout was try to lift, uh, you know, the same amount of weight for each and every set or go up in weight if possible. So after that, moved on to another uh, heavy movement, went on to dumbbell alternating curls. Uh, went as heavy as possible and you'll see me here doing the 60 pound dumbbells and I think I was able to get like eight on each arm and I did this for uh, I think five sets as well uh, and that was the bicep portion of that and then after that moved on to triceps again and what I did here was a Smith machine close grip bench press and I did uh, five sets of right at 10 uh, reps on every single set and on the last set on the fifth set I did a triple drop set so I just went to failure dropped it went to failure again and then dropped it uh, and then after that I think the last thing I recorded was a dumbbell overhead um, extension for triceps so just sitting down on a military bench that's straight up uh, shoulder bench and going for I think four sets of around uh, 12 reps so nothing too crazy heavy because if I go like really heavy on this uh, particular dumbbell exercise, my shoulder starts to hurt. And uh, without a spotter, normally if I'm going really heavy, I'll have a spotter behind me. So when I hit failure, I can just hand it to him because it's loud if you drop that dumbbell. So guys, if you want to get the whole workout, just scroll down to the description box and get that. And I will talk to you later. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. So back home, finished that bicep workout. Uh, it lasted a long time, I guess because I was lifting really heavy and took like a longer rest in between sets. So I already showed you everything that I have for breakfast and pre-workout as far as supplement wise. So I thought might as well finish off and tell you everything I take. So right after the gym, maybe around like an hour ago, I took uh, a scoop and a half of this NitroTech Power. Uh, this protein, it's a protein isolate and it uh, contains creatine already in there so you don't have to add creatine so that's good so I take so I had that right after the gym and now it's about I don't know 40 minutes after I took this because I like to t wait about an hour and then I'll eat a solid meal so tonight uh, low carb again so I'm having chicken uh, I'm gonna have a salad a huge bowl of lettuce I'm gonna add around five ounces of chicken because I'm adding uh, two whole eggs, so that's going to be some fat in there. Uh, I am uh, The dressing is going to be this Greek yogurt ranch dressing. Add a little bit of cheese and onions and mushrooms to that. Uh, I might add a few peanuts in there or something. I don't know, just change it up a little bit. And uh, since it's low carb, I like to have higher fats. Uh, chicken, I'm having tonight. Uh, yesterday I had beef. I like to switch it up every once in a while. I like to get in all different protein sources because it has uh, different amino acids in uh, your different meats. So uh, it's good to change it up so your body doesn't get used to it and it helps you build muscle. So that is for dinner and we're going to sit around. Tonight's Friday night. We're not going to be doing anything really exciting. We're just going to be sitting around and watching TV. So now it is around 11 o'clock. Let me show you my last meal of the night. So got done eating around maybe like three hours ago. Oh, and I got done taking a shower. As you can see, my hair is not fixed. So that's why it looks horrible. Uh, so I am having one scoop of this Nitro Tech Nighttime Protein. So that's casein. And then one scoop of Nitro Tech Whey Gold. So that is an isolate. So the casein is good to take at night because it's slow digesting. So it stays in your system a long time. And that's it in there. I made it into a pudding. I added some unsweetened vanilla almond milk and a little bit of peanut butter in there. And I'm going to eat that and then head to bed in a little bit. So guys, hope you liked the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. All right, guys. Peace.